Ah, pilgrims. When it comes to American history, pilgrims are very important. They're the original English settlers for what would become later the British 13 colonies in the modern day United States. They're more famous for how they created American Thanksgiving, but they also have an interesting history with Christmas. They kind of hated it a lot. The Pilgrims we know of were Puritans, a very religiously conservative group in the sense of they wanted a very strict interpretation of Christianity. The stereotypical outfit you imagine a Pilgrim to wear is due to ideas of being humble. They had 300 working days a year, usually only taking off time for the Sabbath and very rare holidays. But one of those rare holidays was not Christmas. One of those historical facts that every article says nobody knows, but has been taught to everyone a million times by now, is that Christmas the holiday has roots from a pagan winter festival. It was a way for the Catholic Church to act cool and get new converts. Believe it or not, ancient biblical scholars heavily debated on when the actual birthday of Jesus was, with many of them saying April. But regardless, the church thought they could at least celebrate it on December 25th and tolerate certain things from the pagan winter festival like gift giving to win people over. The Puritans were a part of the Protestant Reformation movement breaking away from the Catholic Church, and their specific set of complaints against the Catholic Church included Christmas. They saw it as a way of celebrating paganism, and even the ones who didn't see it like that still saw it as a form of idolatry. When there was an option to make a colony in America, many of them of course went over there to build a community around their own set of beliefs, which would be known as Plymouth. They hated Christmas so much that they deliberately chose to build the first building of their colony on Christmas, as one of the biggest ways to celebrate any holiday is to take a day off from work. Whenever the few non-Puritans got remotely festive, they heavily disapproved. Also keep in mind, Christmas celebrations back then in the communities that did celebrate it was not quite like today, and usually was more like getting as drunk as possible and playing sports. So, of course, the Puritans also considered Christmas degenerate. Puritans at times forced them to keep celebrations inside their homes only, or else face the guilty finger wagging of a lifetime. But the peak would be in the 1640s. In 1644, all the way back in England, the Puritans that remained over there were waging a civil war, and under Oliver Cromwell made a parliamentary ban on celebrating Christmas, Easter, and Pentecost, which was back then called Whitsuntide. While the colonies had their own set of laws for the most part, the Puritan colonies of Plymouth, as well as Massachusetts and Connecticut, all saw fit to join Cromwell in banning Christmas celebrations. In 1659, Massachusetts further added a five shilling fine to anyone who was caught being festive. This is a modern fine of around 44 pounds or $59. Eventually in 1681, restrictions on celebrating Christmas were finally lifted, but boy was it still frowned upon, especially the gift giving. Many businesses also refused to close on the day, so much so that when the British appointed governor Sir Edmund Andros forced businesses to close on Christmas, it was one of the contributing reasons for a revolt against him that overthrew him. Yikes. It took until the 1700s for things to lighten up. Christmas-based songs were finally coming in style by the 1760s. The first churches in the colonies to celebrate Christmas were the Universalist and Unitarian churches, which by the way, if you want to learn more about those churches, you should check out the video from Cynical Historian about them. They're pretty interesting. But finally, in 1856, Christmas became a public holiday for the state of Massachusetts. Then in 1870, it became a federal holiday. Overall, the story of Christmas legalization in New England is like a Christmas version of Footloose that took 250 years to finish. But, legend says, the spirit of Puritan Christmas can still be found at your local gas station convenience store, which stays open on Christmas, converting people to the old ways with the allure of cheap breakfast food and gasoline. This is Emperor Tiger Star wishing you a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays.